My next patron question is from Sonia, who is curious about why decades-old films retain their original classifications even with the changing times. Many PG-rated movies made prior to the 2000s, for example, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Goonies, The Sandlot, contain material that would now be considered PG-13. Why don't they re-rate these movies by current MPAA standards? That is an excellent question. As Sonia pointed out, standards change in what is seen as acceptable viewing. Things seen as controversial are now viewed as tame. Things that seemed harmless decades ago are now looked upon with new viewpoints. The MPAA rating system is one that has changed quite a bit over the years, and there are films with ratings that seem a little dodgy when viewed through a modern lens. 2001 is Space Odyssey, one of the earliest films given an official rating, was rated G. This, despite there being violent scenes like early human beings discovering the first weapons and a computer murdering astronauts in outer space. Planet of the Apes was also rated G, even though there were a number of violent moments, we see a man who has been lobotomized and rendered catatonic, and we even get a good look at Charlton Hester's rear end. Jaws has a lot of bloody violence, caused by a hungry shark, and yet it got a PG. Sonia mentioned a few films of risque material, like foul language and sex-related humor, and that's been a problem for parents who rent movies from their childhood for their offspring to watch, only to be surprised what passed for PG. A lot of people have fond memories of watching Mel Brooks's Spaceballs, most of whom probably watched it censored for television, and then are surprised to hear Rick Moranis drop an F-bomb in the theatrical cut. Airplane was also rated PG, and nonetheless had a ton of material removed from television airings. Parents deciding to buy the DVD or queue it up on Netflix for their children might be in for a surprise. In the case of movies made before 1984, the PG-13 rating did not exist yet. There was only G, PG, R, and X. Complaints from parents about the gruesome and scary scenes in Gremlins and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom were what led to the creation of this new rating. However, the MPAA did not go back and re-rate earlier films like Jaws and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Even Gremlins and Temple of Doom remain PG today. Why? Well, believe it or not, it's not the responsibility of the ratings board to do this. The studios themselves have to choose to resubmit the movies for new ratings. The only times they're required to resubmit films is if they're re-released with significant changes like added scenes or an alternate director's cut. Amadeus was originally rated PG, but when the director's cut was released in 2002, brief nudity was enough to jump it up to R. Cinema Paradiso also went from PG to R for re-release. One of the most interesting cases was The Wizard of Oz. For the longest time, the beloved 1939 classic was rated G, and was seen as perfectly acceptable viewing for children of all ages. However, when Warner Brothers resubmitted the movie for a 3D IMAX re-release, the additional dimension was enough to get it a PG for some scary moments. The ratings board did find themselves having to re-rate many films, though, when the X rating was discontinued and replaced with the NC-17 in 1990. This meant a lot of movies were on the market with a rating no longer endorsed by the MPAA. These movies were either re-rated or ended up marked as unrated, the latter of which happened to Fritz the Cat. Infamous X-rated films like Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, Last Tango in Paris, and Evil Dead switched to NC-17. Midnight Cowboy and A Clockwork Orange, the only X-rated movies to be nominated for Best Picture, had already done the job for them, as they had been resubmitted to the MPA not long after their initial releases and given an R. Back to PG, are there any films with that classification that should get new ratings? Probably. It's surprising to me Beetlejuice was able to attain a PG rating even in 1988. But to go back and re-rate a bunch of older releases would require an extensive amount of work. Thankfully, we live in an age with plenty of information about movie content at our fingertips. Typing the name of any movie and then Parents Guide into Google gives you a decent amount of results. And if a parent wants to reintroduce a film they saw as a child, they can also watch it first and decide whether it's appropriate or not. Let me know what you think, and thank you for your question, Sonia.